Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, Kyoko had once again steamrolled Makoto into going along with her crazy plan that may or may not end with all of the students getting killed by the mastermind. Now, I have a slight hope that Makoto will grow a spine in this instance, and that the next words out of his mouth will be, at that moment, I finally realised that Kyoko was a bitch. I'm really hoping that's how this sentence ends. Come on, Makoto, you have one job. Don't let me down. At that moment, I finally realised. God damn it. <laughs> nope. Nope, Makoto is just happy to let me down. Okay, bud. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes because I kind of think she may be a psychopath and she just can't feel those emotions. Like, that's what I think. I don't think she has any empathy. I'm slightly worried about her mental state. Like, this... Mm -mm. I don't trust those eyes. Not, not in the slightest. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead. The enemy standing before us. And with that in view... She just smiled. Cause she a crazy hoe. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it... If something ever happens to me. It, if something happens... However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And I am hoping wholeheartedly for that chance! Come on! Come on, death of Kyoko, let's go! But there's always a chance of it. And death without meaning is... unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Put it through the shredder. Put it through the shredder, Makoto! Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Why not? Sure, because there's a chance that the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. It's... I think what she's going for here is like, I trust you, but I don't trust any of them. However... At, at this stage, it just feels like Makoto is... I'm gonna be brutally honest, it feels like Makoto is a victim of domestic abuse and Kyoko is their abusive girlfriend. That's what it feels like to me, that's the vibe I get from their relationship. Just Kyoko constantly making Makoto do these dangerous things and Makoto being there like, yes Kyoko, of course Kyoko, three bags full Kyoko, it's, it's like Toko and Byakia but less overt. And so I'm just like, it, it's framed in like a, oh, I trust you, you should feel special, but it just makes me feel dirty. I'm like, no, I don't like this. Again, I don't mean that in like a, I'm miserable. I'm, I'm having a much better time now than I was at ch in chapter four. I don't, when I say that I hate this, I don't mean that in like a, I'm considering cancelling the Let's Play, I'm having a miserable time, blah blah blah. It's just that Kyoko is on screen and I don't like Kyoko. That's basically it. You know, have no fear, I'm having a great time, I just like to complain about Kyoko. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I- I can't just forget that easily. So then? Okay then. Shall we begin? Makoto never agreed. Makoto. 
I'm counting on you, Makoto, again. Building up that, like, oh, I need you. I need you. No one else will do. Only you, Makoto. To, to bring him into the relationship. So that, you know, like, oh, without me, she'd never be able to do it. I just... It doesn't help. Um... I've, I, so I was in a very, how do I want to put this? I, I was in a very toxic relationship at one point in my life. It was, I, th I think I would call it emotionally abusive. And again, I, I recognize that. Maybe, maybe I'm imprinting my own experience onto this situation. Uh, that could be a very strong possibility. But I'm, I'm having flashbacks and I'm like, mm, don't do it, Makoto. Don't make my mistakes. You are not responsible for their emotional well-being. Like, oh, they're counting on you. Fuck that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to, bud. God damn it. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. If you catch feelings for this bitch, I will slap you, Makoto. I will slap the stupidity out of you, because that is dumb. Don't do it. No, everything's going to be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko, and Kyoko has been so stand up so far. Kyoko has never gotten you hurt, Makoto. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here, I've got a bone to pick with you. Then, a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey. Hey, by the way. Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Nothing like that, because if that happened... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, if there is a... Kyoko Makoto sex scene. That will make me cancel the let's play. I'm like, no. After that, no. I am not putting myself through that. That better not happen. I swear to God. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? No. No. Calm. We are calm. I'm not calm. So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys. Remove to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> I like that. Oh no, 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 no! This is awful. This is hilarious, but it's awful. All over her, did you? <laughs> Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Oh? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Any 
anyway, and oh my god, that is the reason. That is the reason. <laughs> anyway, you went to all that troll to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or dude fella? Actually. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is... What? Seriously? My entire existence! <laughs> then, what am I? My entire existence! This is kind of depressing. That's enough! I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Hmm. What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Uh... Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or ursine breeding tips? Huh? Mm. This is just crazy! Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key and... I dinged my mic, I apologize. And a what? Uh? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key, and uh, that's it. What was that second thing? <laughs> it's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. You're making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. <laughs> and the next. Time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew! I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? I went back to my room and laid down. Did you lock your door? Buddy, you need to remember that. Doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Oh god, look at how Monica full. Monica Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to actually speak. I was just going to say, look how, look how full this is. What? Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies for you and all your friends. Poo hoo hoo! And I couldn't re read the last bit. The fuck was that? Hmm. Hmm. This super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development? But it'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well? Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! I mean, I would recommend Danganronpa. I've had a... I've 
had a really good time with this game, excluding the beginning of chapter four. But like, aside from that, I really enjoyed myself. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Hmm. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Okay. Let's actually, I wanna, I wanna check on the knife. In here is the survival knife that Toko found. Okay, we have not been robbed. Good stuff. I don't, I don't trust that. I don't like that we've got that in our room. I'm, it makes me nervous. one minute late. Kyoko is not here. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? S sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? Y you r really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hm. I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> That's right, bitch! Don't yell at me! Huh? I, I just thought... I, I mean, since a day had passed, it maybe re reset. Huh? Huh? S sorry Please don't hate me! Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it! Oh, no, not the first one! I I'll hang a sign from my neck that says bad girl! I'll, I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush! <sighs> if you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> you will. You're gonna make plenty more disgusting comments. I know you, Toko. Th thank you! I, I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. Right, there we go. There we go. If I do, you, you can st stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> Why are you like this, Toko? As, as long as it, it's you and no one else, I, I don't mind. <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. Uh... I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. Just bring everyone to the bathhouse and tell them. Because Kyoko, I don't. I don't agree with the keeping secret stuff. Everyone here is on the same page. We know that now. Everyone is working towards a common goal. There is absolutely no need to keep secrets. The best thing to do right now is to just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what it is she's doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh, yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah! Are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What? What? Whoa! What do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're 
wondering where Miss Kiri Giri is, right? D do you know where she is? Ooh. Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know. Oh, wait, this is Hero. Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm getting whiplash. The way he changes subjects like that. You still don't have permission to speak, though. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious. Hmm. Hmm. I see. <laughs> well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. <laughs> As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah! How can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. <laughs> Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Free time? Phew! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Oh shit, is he actually coming down with something? Um, let's... Let's head out. First things first, we have money to spend. So, uh, I think I'm gonna head... Oh, I only have seven minutes left on this recording. So, I mean, we are gonna finish off with Byakia. I, I don't know how much more he has left that he wants to say. And then after that, I'm really not too sure where to go. Okay, first things first. Any Monokuma coins in here. Before I forget, all that's inside the vending machine is energy drinks. Okay, nothing there. Yep, it's useless. Yep, definitely a school store, but it kind of feels more like an old-timey general store than anything modern. Oh, yay! Nice! And the camera. Oh, I mean they're absolutely everywhere. Oh, no, wait, the we have read this, excuse me. Okie doke, we have 109 coins to spend. I am going to pause this and I'm just going to show you what gifts I get. So, back with you in a moment.
And I'm back. I actually got a few uh, lucky pulls, so that was that was pretty cool. Now then, let's go find Piakia. No, we don't want S. We want F1 and then map. Okay, where you at, bud? Okay, fifth floor. Okay, he's in the garden. Let's travel to there. Go, bud. What? What? Did you need something? Hmm. Should I talk to Bianchi for a while? Yes. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Never! I spent some time with Bianchi. <laughs> Bianchia and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Bianchia a present? Yes! You can have more of those chinchilla things. I have a lot of them. Uh, it was all the way down at the bottom, right? Yes, the quality chinchilla cover. Yes. Have that. If you insist, I suppose I can accept it. Does that mean he liked it? Oh, and the spooky music begins. Hmm. How do you still not understand? Understand what? Hmm. I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake. But it's all amounted to nothing. We simply have nothing to talk about. Not possible. We could talk forever and a day, and I would gain nothing from it. B but the more we come to understand each other... You and I will never understand each other. We live in different worlds. Our ways of life, our ways of thinking, are totally incompatible. You're a loser. So go ahead and live your loser life, make a bunch of loser friends. Then together you can lick each other's loser wounds. Don't don't say that too loud with Toko in the room. She she will pass the fuck out. You don't have to keep saying loser. That's enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting, and I'm going to keep on winning. Did it did it feel like winning when you looked like a buffoon in uh, Trial 4? Did, did that... Was that winning, Biakia? That's right. That's one thing that will never change. But having to win all the time, doesn't that make your life kind of hard? Hmm. Such is the fate of the Chosen. The Chosen? Okay, Biakia. The Chosen? Listen, I've been meaning to ask you. You keep talking about The Chosen. What does that mean exactly? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than how I'd normally think of it. Hmm. That's fine. Fine, if I'm going to waste my time with you anyway, I may as well explain this one last thing. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent progeny. There's a story behind that? So in other words... It has to do with the secret of the Togami family's prosperity. 
our success comes from our family's rather peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar inheritance? What do you mean? Hmm. You see, our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over in order to bear as many children as possible. All over the world? Well, that does explain why Bianchi has blonde hair and blue eyes, at least. Hmm. They then make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. And whoever it is, earns the right to become the next head of the family. You mean, you have to fight your own brothers and sisters? That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. When all was said and done, only one was still standing. The youngest brother, me. <laughs> In the entire history of the Togami family, the youngest male had never won. Jeez, that sounds brutal. I can't even imagine something like that. What? So, now do you understand? I won my title in open combat. That is how I became the ultimate affluent progeny. I was not born into greatness. I had to earn it. In other words... I put my life on the line, and I earned the right to be called the Chosen. You put your life on the line? Then, what about your siblings? <sighs> Dead. Oh, shit! Dead! Stop talking. Oh, thank God for that. I don't mean that literally, of course. They become dead to the family, unfit for the name of Togami. <laughs> of course, for them, it really is like death. They're forced to become one of the 99%. One of you. But it must have been really hard, right? Hmm. You can't even imagine. Which is why the survivor is recognized as the Chosen. When you take over as the head of the family, all the weight of that family comes to rest on your shoulders. So in other words... That is how dedicated I am. I am forever dedicated to keep on winning. And so I shall. Hmm. Otherwise, I would feel only pity for those I'd already defeated. Byakia pretty much said he carries the weight of always having to win. Winning comes natural to him. <laughs> All I'll say at this point is that I'm going to win this game too. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. Don't make me repeat myself. And in the end, I will stand victorious. I won't lose to the Mastermind, or you, or anyone else. Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live, and I will win. In the name of my family. As long as my name is Byakuya Togami. The finality of his statement left no room for doubt or question. Nobody but Byakuya could talk that way and sound so convincing. But because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. At the same time, I feel like I understand him that much more. At least, I think I do. Goodbye. Now, let me be crystal clear. We no longer have anything to talk about. Do not come to me like this again. Goodbye, loser. I can't imagine any way Byakuya and I could ever become friends in this lifetime. Byakuya's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go! Once Byakuya was gone, I went back to my room. Okay, at first things first, I want to check if that actually filled out our report card with him. I feel even worse than I did this morning. Oh shit, he's definitely coming down with something. My body feels like lead and... Now I'm getting chills. 
this is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Oh God. Um, F1, we want report cards. And Byakia Togami has been filled out. Okay. Um, I kind of want to give my thoughts on the Akia, I, the, the episode is, you know, running way over time. However, I, I just kind of want to do this. Um, my fiance did say that, you know, once you get to Byakia's final conversation, it really explains a lot of his character and makes him seem more sympathetic. I'd actually argue the opposite because I'm, I'm kind of of the opinion. It's, how do I put it? It's like when someone becomes a bully and then they ju they try to justify that like oh well i was bullied so that's why i became a bully i'm like that doesn't justify shit with me you should know better you know what it feels like to be bullied therefore you shouldn't become one and with biakia he's clearly suffered like the weight of this competition his family has clearly weighs heavy on him but then he should know not to be an asshole to everyone else so i do i find it interesting his final conversation it was very telling but i'm not like oh this justifies everything he's done i feel so badly for him i'm like oh so you're choosing to be an asshole after having suffered you are choosing to make other people suffer yourself okay mate okay it mm, yeah i uh I like Byakia a lot more after, you know, everything that went on in chapter four. And like I said, Kyoko is now my least favorite character. I still don't like him by, by any stretch of the imagination. Okie doke. Now that we have even more free time, who am I going to spend it with now? Um, find out in the next episode. So until then. Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.